What's up, yo? I'm your host for today, Kuya Koy. We will talk about this portable aerator or the battery-operated aerator. Is this really useful for fish keepers or not? Well, we will dive into its info and find out why. Yo, DJ, play that dope intro. But first, please help us grow our channel. Please subscribe. Please click the subscribe button. Please. All right. Let's get back to business. Good airflow and good water circulation is very essential to your pet fish. Considering that you already have a good airflow and filtration, but what will happen if there is a power interruption? Me and my boss already experienced it. The electricity post was suddenly damaged for some reason that lead into 8-hour power interruptions. Most of my homies died. It was very devastating incident. There are many kinds of portable air pumps, the solar powered, the lithium ion battery powered, which are rechargeable. And the one we are using is this old school portable air pump which only using disposable battery or the traditional battery. Wanna know why I still using this old school air pump? But before that, let's give this old school air pump a test. As you can see, the air pressure is very strong. And you can observe that the old school portable air pump has two battery compartments. And the good thing about it is that it can still function with only one battery. As you can see in the video. As a reminder, always have a backup battery. Based in our experience, one battery can carry on for 16 hours straight of aeration. That is true. We already tested it. We also believe that it can oxygenate two tanks using the hose splitter. If you are still confused what to buy, let me give you a tip. The old school type of portable air pump is less maintenance. Because the battery of this is disposable and you can buy it almost everywhere. Unlike the solar portable air pump, for the air pump using chargeable batteries, if those batteries malfunction, it is very hard to find a replacement. It is based in our experience. That is why we shifted into old school. You just have to be responsible for extra batteries and its proper disposal. I hope you like this video and find it very informative. Please support us by subscribing to our channel so we can provide you more videos about fish keeping and other stuff. Thank you for watching. See you next time.